Sup guys, I am wearing the same shirt as yesterday because it's early in the morning and I don't feel like showering yet. And welcome back to Hotfix, your daily dose of gaming news. Before we get into today's show, just really quickly want to let you guys know that I will not be doing a Hotfix video tomorrow because I'm going home tonight for Mother's Day and my sister's birthday. If that's not a good excuse for not having a video, I don't know what is. But anyways, we got some cool news to get to. So my name is Max. Yesterday was May 10th, 2017, and let's get right into it. So some different type of Mass Effect news today. The studio that worked on Andromeda, Bioware Montreal, is actually restructuring and the IP is being put on hold. According to studio director Yannick Roy, a lot of Bioware Montreal's members are going to work with Motive Studios because they share the same office space. Motive is actually working on Star Wars Battlefront 2 right now. Roy also says, and I quote, we are ramping up teams on other Bioware projects in development and there will be much more to come from Bioware in the years ahead. Of course, it's always it's really sad to see some people losing their jobs whenever places are getting restructured or downscaling or whatever. However, I'm not entirely sure I want to see more from Bioware in the near future. Like I mentioned yesterday, I'm really not happy with what's going on over there. Like, EA has taken what Bioware is and was and gotten rid of it, that single player experience. Now they're just having them focus on these multiplayer games. Their new game, whatever it is, it's an action adventure game and we want RPGs from Bioware. It's also like their new game is supposed to be some live service like Destiny or The Division. Like what? We have a bunch of those. Let Bioware do their thing and create a really cool world that we want to get immersed in. But I digress, I ranted enough yesterday on this subject. As for the Mass Effect news, we're pretty used to waiting for a new game. Andromeda took like five years to make, with Mass Effect 3 coming in March of 2013 if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, we can wait a bit longer. Let's just hope that the next one is a bit better than Andromeda was. So like Bayonetta, Platinum Games Vanquish is being ported to PC. It's going to be here on May 25th, and actually people who own the PC port of Bayonetta will be getting a 25% discount on Vanquish. The PC port will have support for 4K resolutions, and it will also support keyboard and mouse controls and gamepad controls. It'll also have some pretty standard features like anti-aliasing, mesotropic filtering, SSAO lighting, and of course scalable textures and shadows. And like Bayonetta, Vanquish will have all these standard Steam features like trading cards, achievements, game hubs and all that jazz. But what may be the most interesting news out of this is that Vanquish isn't only going to be sold on Steam. Sega may be pushing their own storefront up and their leverage would be all of these old games that people have been waiting for, like maybe even Bayonetta 2, which is only available on the Wii U, will be an exclusive on this new platform. This is of course speculation, but this is kind of big and I can't wait to see where this goes. So Payday 2 is getting a free update later on, which will bring with it a VR mode. That's right, the entire game is going to be playable in VR, and it's going to be cross-playable with people who don't have VR. The beta is supposed to be coming this year, and it's of course going to be as fully playable as it is with a controller, keyboard, and mouse. This is fucking dope. I hope that something like this really works out. And a team like Overkill does know how to make a game that plays well, so I feel like if there's a studio that can make this work, it is them. And also in light of this, there's actually a Payday 2 Ultimate Edition coming out, and it will be releasing this year on Steam. Steam on June 8th. This is dope because Payday 2 is known for having some pretty ridiculous expansions and micro DLC packs. In fact, buying the game right now with all of its packs will cost you over $200. However, this Ultimate Edition will include everything and it will only be $45. In fact, once the game comes out, you won't even be able to buy any DLC packs separately. And even better is that all future updates to the game are going to be free. So this is just a huge turnaround for this game. And this is great because we know Payday 3 is now in the works and it's not going to be coming for a few years, but now is probably the best time to jump on so you're not left behind by the time the third game comes out. So that big indie game that's coming out, Rhyme, people were getting mad because it was going to be $10 more on the Nintendo Switch. Well, that has been reversed and it's now going to be $30 across all platforms. According to the publisher Greybox, this extra price was because of additional publishing for the Switch and weird development costs that it brought with it. But since enough people bitched about it, and rightfully so, the price got lowered and actually the physical version of the Switch game, and only the Switch, will come bundled with the in-game soundtrack. Now this is interesting because on PC, PS4, and Xbox, the soundtrack is going to be sold separately for $10. The game is coming out on May 26th for current consoles and PC, and then later this summer on the Switch. 
much. Dope, dope, dope. That means the game is probably going to get more sales, and it's always great to see a game do well. And lastly, for today's news, the popular MMO, The Secret World, is actually getting a relaunch later this year. On June 26th, we will be seeing The Secret World Legends. And of course, it's still going to be on Steam. It's going to feature a redesigned combat system, a better structured early game, a better story, and more intuitive quests, as well as upgraded graphics. You know, this is great because I remember that game was kind of hyped and it didn't live up to a lot of people's expectations and it didn't sell very well. Also, as we've seen with Final Fantasy XIV, a MMO relaunch could do wonders as that is now one of the most popular MMOs on the market. Hopefully the secret world can see that same sort of success. Anyways, folks, that's about it for yesterday's news. Hopefully this recap helped you and leave your thoughts in the comments below on this kind of stuff. I love seeing what you guys have to think about this kind of stuff and talking about it with you. Unfortunately, I won't be seeing you all tomorrow, but I will be seeing you next week. And this is Max signing off.